We may be far from the Mexican border, but we have not escaped the divisive debate over immigration. And we've been reporting on enforcement by federal agents in the region and activists rallying against the president's policies. Well, our region is also home to hundreds of migrant workers, many of them here illegally. Channel 3 News first introduced you to this hidden population a decade ago. And with the threat of deportation ever present, Eichmann David found that many of these workers are still in the shadows. Ike. Yeah, Darren Celine, 10 years ago, we met two dairy farm workers from Mexico working in Vermont to help their families back home. My producer Danielle and I traveled to Addison County to visit the same farm where not much has changed. No one is denying the existence of undocumented immigrants in the state. And some of the dairy farmers we spoke with say there would be no milk without these workers who are still in the shadows. It's business as usual on this Addison County dairy farm. Jose Antonio Coas and Manuel Cordorvis Hernandez spending their day in the barn and milking parlor. Jose has been on the job for five years. When I got here, I didn't know anything about the machines or milking, but I learned. And Manuel for five months. Milking is my favorite. Both men left Mexico in hopes of providing a better life for their families back home. They took different paths to get to the Green Mountains. Jose says his brother-in-laws, who were already in the state, helped him get a six-month visa, which he has since overstayed. Manuel says he paid $10,000 to be smuggled into the country and brought to Vermont. And with the necessities one has, it's dangerous, but... The two undocumented workers say they came to work and send money back home. And that's why I decided to take that risk. Sometimes I think about it a lot. And it hurts to leave the family. Do you miss, do you miss home? What do you miss most? The family, it's what I miss the most. And the people you love, you sacrifice being with them to be here. Like farmhands everywhere, their days are long, working odd hours. Both Jose and Manuel say they are paid and treated well, but they rarely leave the farm, staying in the shadows to avoid federal immigration authorities. You've got to take care of yourself more than anything. That you don't get in trouble. I only come here to work. I'm too scared to leave because I know I'm not safe. And well, that's my life. You know, they got to hide. Because if they go to the dentist, if they go to the grocery store, Border Patrol or ICE is going to pick them up. Jose and Manuel work on Rob Hunt's dairy farm. Hunt supplies the men with a place to stay, gives them some food, and takes them grocery shopping. You know, I want to make sure they're happy. I, I uh, you know, happy people make, are there a lot more productive. And with no American workers answering the call for help, the farm owner says his farm would fail if he didn't have migrants helping milk his 160 cows. And without those guys, you know, there's no way. There's no way I can do it. And his stance hasn't changed. Hunt spoke with us over 10 years ago. I first decided I wanted to use Mexican labor because that was the only option I had. Back to today, the same issue stands. In the last 10 years, uh, we have not had an American come and ask for a full-time job here. Hunt doesn't feel he's taking the easy way out by using migrant labor. He says it's harder, as there are language and cultural challenges he faces every single day. They're not cheaper. They're not at all cheaper. They're willing to do the work. And the state isn't hiding from the fact that this is happening. It's clear that uh, the migrant workforce plays a critical role in agriculture in the state of Vermont. Agriculture um, Secretary and Anson Tebbit says he sees migrant workers when he visits farms of all sizes. He feels that farmers treat their workers fair and pay them a respectful wage because... Without the help uh, from migrant labor, uh, some of the chores would not get done. Back in Addison, Jose and Manuel admitted to us that they are undocumented, so, but their employer says like he was given paperwork. So my guys, as far as I'm concerned, they've always been legal. 
you can't ask people be, based on their race whether they're a legal citizen if they're providing you with the, the required documents. Documented or not, Jose and Manuel say they don't Hola. want to stay in the United States forever. They want to go back home to live a better life. No. 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 I'd stay here to work, but not to stay here to live forever. In my opinion, no. It's difficult. It's impossible. But no, because my goal is to return to Mexico. We should note that both Manuel and Jose agreed to talk on camera without fear. It will tr attract attention from federal agents. But we also talked with one migrant who has already been caught by federal agents. And he's now seeking asylum so he can stay here. We'll have his story and hear from federal authorities caught in the middle of the immigration debate tomorrow night.